G'day, this is Gary007 and welcome to Avorian. Uh, so this is a Q&A part 2. Uh, so these are some of the common questions I get asked, I have been asked in the past, so I thought, yeah, why not put it into a video so that we can sort of document these sorts of things and I can sort of point people towards these videos. <laughs> So this is a beginner's guide. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, uh, leave a comment below. I try to interact as much as possible with all the comments that get put into a video. And um, leave a thumbs up if, if you do like the video. So this is a beginner's guide, uh, Q&A part two. So the first common question that I get asked is, how do I transfer crew to another ship? So. Let's say the ship in front of you is the ship you want to transfer crew to. So this is a new ship that you've built and you now you want to transfer crew from your old ship to your new ship. All you have to do is select the ship and then select um, interact which is F. And if we go down to transfer crew, cargo and fighters. So from here we can transfer our um, all of our crew to the other ship if we wanted to. We can um, transfer um, any goods that we have. We can transfer fighters between each both of these ships. And we can also transfer um, exchange uh, torpedoes as well. So what happens when we transfer goods? What do you do with your ship then? Well, there's two things that you can do. Um, you can destroy your ship if you wanted to. Um, if you decide to delete your ship, so you've got a ship here and then you can take safe mode off, you can delete the ship and the, you'll get all the resources back from that ship. However, every, anything that you've got attached to the ship at the moment, um, as in system slots, they, they're gonna st they'll go flying all over the place. Uh, if, they're, if, they're, um, if you're permanently installed a system, you want to uninstall the system safely before just deleting your ship. So to do that, uh, where are we? There we are. I have a mock-up uh, equipment dock. So if you come to the equipment dock, oh, you don't actually need to go into the equipment dock, sorry. You can uh, remove these safely. Right, so when you're at equipment dock, you can remove all of these goods safely and then you can then delete your ship if you want to get the resources back. The other option is to, you can uh, put a captain on the ship and start mining if you wanted to. You need a captain for all of your ships. So you just need to find a station that will sell a captain, which I happen to have in this example. <laughs> so this captain allows you to remotely um, give orders to your other ships um, or fleet that you may have running a mining fleet or battle barges you know or um, frigates that you may have um, made up in the game you need a captain in order to run um, your ship remotely to give them orders so that is how you transfer crew um, and goods uh, from one ship to another you can delete the ship that you have or you could um, utilize it to do some mining or other um, or add to your fleet. Uh, it's completely up to you. So the second question I get asked is how to turn on independent targeting. So if we jump into our build mode, press B, we jump in and we have to look for an independent targeting um, item. So this one here is independent targeting. These are all triple point defense uh, chain guns you'll see independent targeting at the bottom there highlighted in blue they're the ones that we can turn we can use as independent targeting so if we were to put on a this salvaging on sorry put on this chain gun right now we hop out of we just press escape 
Oh, sorry, we'll, we'll get back into the ship menu. Uh, select one. So I went into the ship menu. Ship, select one. Uh, we can group up a bunch of these if you wanted to. Hop out. Now we come down to the icon at the below, the, the, the little gun. We got attack, auto fire, defensive fighters, torpedoes, or player control. Well, the player controlled self-explanatory. The defense torpedo, uh, defense fighters and torpedoes. This is generally you generally use this for point defense weapons, which is the weapon that I have on the ship. Uh, but every other weapon we can use auto fire, and that will just start targeting the nearest threat and just start firing at them. And we have now activated our independent targeting. So you can go into a battle and you can have your guns firing automatically. You, there is a mod, so this is not modded at the moment, but there is a mod in the game um, which allows for independent targeting on all weapons. So a gun, triple chain gun, will turn into an independent targeting weapon. Uh, I do have a, a, a mod video, so go check that out if, you want, if, if you're interested in um, different mods in the game. So yeah, that is how you um, turn on independent targeting. The next question I get asked is, how do I change the UI color? So if we go escape and we go down to control, no, not controls, options. So we go to game options and scroll right down. Oh, I think we have to be out of the game. So we will exit the game. We'll go to the main menu. Go to settings, uh, video, down the bottom, and there is your UI color. So you can change the UI color. Red, green, purple. So that's how you change the UI color. Um, you can get some really, really cool colors. I'm just going to change mine back because I actually like it. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. So that's how you change UI color. So the next question I get asked is how do I download Steam spaceships? So what we can do is just Windows D out of it. We need to go into Steam, go into our Steam library, go to home, go to workshop, and here's all the different sh spaceships that you can have. So let's say we want to choose the spaceship. Just choose this one for an example. Actually looks pretty good. So what we want to do is we want to subscribe to this guy. Now we'll subscribe. We can go back in to um, Our game so we'll go back into our game into creative mode and we just wait tick tock tick tock <laughs> loading up radio now we just go into our build menu sorry we'll, we'll, we'll build another ship shall we we'll come out to a vessel Found a ship. B. Save designs. Now there should be one workshop. And there is our workshop ship. And then we, we select it. And then we select um, apply design. Now if you don't have the material here, you could change the material. Um, so you can apply this uh, to your current playthrough and here we go we have a beautiful looking uh, workshop spaceship so that's how we apply workshop spaceships to, um, to a game we do the same thing when it comes to uh, mods uh, like I said I do have a video on mods I'll, I'll leave a link um, in the credits but yeah, that's how you download a Steam Workshop spaceship. 
so yeah i hope you have enjoyed this short video um and um yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh hit the bell notification and all right then i'll see you out in the galaxy bye